Tell us more. Uh, we are joined by the director, Maria van Driel. Uh, Maria, thank you very much for joining us. Here. Morning, Sam. Thanks very much for inviting us. It's in its seventh edition. This Josie Book Fair has just gone from strength to strength. Take me back to all those years ago when this was just an idea and we wanted people to connect mm. around books. You know, we, we're looking at Kanya College is the, is the mother of the Josie Book Fair and we're almost 30 years old. So we've rooted in the anti-apartheid movement. And 2009, we looked at the fact that, you know, we still have a very weak culture of reading and writing that is really responsible for the deep social inequality, the poverty and the unemployment. And we were looking at how do we actually deal with this because it's not just about functional literacy, you know, mm. it's about writing your name, but being able to read the word and the world and to become active social citizens in a new South Africa. And that's why we started the Jawsy Book Fair. And it is a very big, you know, it's a very different fair because it focuses on how do we create readers from children to youth to adults across the board and how do we use different art forms to engage and encourage people to read. Because I think what we've been looking at in this country is that there's a very tiny readership who go to literary art festivals and book festivals, etc. But it doesn't actually touch the lives of the majority of people. And what we wanted to do and what we set out to do was to say, how do we build this movement of readers? Because it is readers who will encourage others to read, peers encourage each others to read. And then we looked at the experiences of other countries as well and looked at how do we actually get children to read to each other, to assist each other. Because, you know, when you're in a study group or in a reading group, you can assist each other with understanding what the word means or, you mm. know, the meaning of the sentence. But then it also engages people in terms of building tolerance, debate, exchanging viewpoints, etc. And that's really important. That's the important Let's thing. talk about this really heavyweight lineup in terms of the kind of people <laughs> that will be engaging with um, fans, the public at large. I mean, you can't get bigger names in the literary world. Absolutely. And I think what we're trying to focus on, I mean, we've been looking at the experience of other countries like Cuba. How mm. did they build an education culture in terms of reading, etc.? So one of our guests is a Cuban writer. But we're also looking at what has been, there's been, a, there's a deep history in this country of different art forms of reading, poetry. So we've mm. also got James Matthews, Don Matera, Ronnie Gavinder, um, our poet laureate, um, Jose Etzile, um, as well. Because what we're also looking at is the importance of memory, of continuity, and you know what I mean, mm. looking at where we come from. Because I think there's been a gap in terms of we've lost a lot. And we want to have that continuity and also to create new readers and to create mm. new, 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 new forms of art. Let's talk about that because I think one of the things you've done so well is to find the balance between what art is. You also have live music. You've got other elements that you've brought it in to stimulate that market. It's not only just about books. You see, I think also we're looking at how do we engage a movement and the fact that, you know, people often get it, or have become, I think, alienated in the education system. It is also seen as it's for the elite. So we're using different art forms, as you say, live jazz. Mm. We're using theater. We've got a great theater lineup with so many artists. We've also got a film festival that looks at youth and children from all over the world. And there's short pieces and longer pieces. There are Q&As, you know, so that wow. people can... So for us, our fair is about people engaging, teaching each other. You know what I mean? It's not about the experts only, but it's about... And I think so you have great, great writers like Zeke Zimda, Joan Rankin, and they work with the children who are performing their poetry. Zeke's is bringing his children's book, Penny and Puffy, who are the mascots of the Josie Book Fair. And it's a really lovely, delightful story about a penguin set in Robben Island and the mother finds the egg and the egg is an egg of a puffin bird. And they bring up this egg as well as part of the penguin yeah. colony.
Maria, unfortunately we run out of time. We can uh, have this conversation for so long, but uh, some interesting things coming. Uh, Maria Van Driel is the director Just of the Josie Book Fair, which will be held at the Virtue University from the 11th to the 13th of September, which will feature a storytelling festival, poetry buddies, and various tours and exhibitions at the Origin free. Center for Children and Parents. The fair is free for everybody. And free. it is absolutely, absolutely free. free. So come to the Science Josie Book Stadium. Fair. Okay, we take it that break. You don't get anywhere.